hey welcome back this is 3d in CSS3 project video number four or five whatever it is in this video we're gonna create the 3d cube let's roll first let's save this file as this is exactly where we left so let's save the file first um, 3d stacking concept so this is video that was the video number four this is video number five so in this video we will be creating the um, 3d right 3d box let's do that okay All right, we need to move some of these. We don't need them. And we only need um, six of them. Okay, so we're gonna write top. Um, bottom left right front and back and same goes here as class name top bottom left right front and back okay so top bottom left right front back okay we're good in here so all right so do do it step by step one by one all right so first target these classes let it rotate like as it is let's comment this out um 3d cube styles all right okay so top then <coughs> bottom left right let's not make mistakes in here uh, front then finally the back we'll have some property and values So we need to give them some property and values, right? So it will have a width 100%, height 100%, display block, uh, position would be absolute, okay, and then. Um, Give it a background background color RGB I two five five two five five two five five one means white so let's uh, give it a transparent color like five also exactly all right this is the color I'm I was looking for all right <coughs> moving on so all right what else we need to give um, 
okay so let's install them separate separately one by one okay first the top one so transform um rotate in the x axis let's put 95 degree so that we can see where it is okay beautiful okay let's comment this absolute uh -huh. all right okay okay moving on okay so let's put this in here to do that um translate y to zero so minus 100 pixel mm, okay just let's uh, keep this 90 degree 95 degree like so then the bottom let's change this class name to bottom to 95 degree as well and then uh, left right left y degree there you go we are almost done bear with me it is that simple guys so uh -huh. okay so uh, we have top bottom left and right okay 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 just bear with me let's fix the other ones and uh, front and then back okay it's just the mind bending thing okay, okay. so for the front 180 degree 180 degree minus all right all right all right looking good let's put 90 degree all of them okay looks good everything is there just bear with me and we'll fix it together okay okay mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. Okay. Once you understand the concept of 3D effects in CSS3, you'll be able to create amazing stuff, seriously. Okay, so as you can see already, we can use this technique. But we want to create the cube, right? So top, um, transform, rotate, in that, that, that direction yeah and then what we want we want the top one to be here right so translate um, Z 100 there you go um, 130 yeah that's the exact number okay so translate z in the bottom one give it a minus value and there you go excellent and then uh, it okay the left one 
is there already and then minus 130 there we go we are almost there okay okay we're coming we just have to have to um, get the font and back but before that we need to have the font bigger so that we can see precisely uh, font size 10 em Ooh. just put 5 em oh, 3 m okay looks good all right moving on let's 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 um let's keep it that way for the time being let's um bring the front in the front um okay front is in the right place now we need to put the back ones so minus 130 there you go we are almost done let's um remove the middle white box from there okay so that's in the that's the inner element in there we can have background transparent yeah and that will do the job excellent and let's make it perfect shall we all right okay let's see the right text is flipped back right and back text is flipped other other side okay so to fix that the left one rotate remember rotate y minus 180 degree and the problem is fixed for the right and back or right and back I need to put this in the right class and the back class because their fonts are other way around okay right is back okay everything looks just fine as it should be precisely okay moving on so um, we see this um, intersection from each other we can do fix it by adding here some value yep one thirty by thirty five pixels seems to be the right number okay almost there I think thirty seven just bear with me uh, almost there let's put 40 yeah 40 seems just the perfect number for the corners to add seamlessly okay so there you go we are almost done Okay, beautiful. So we have our transparent uh, cube rotating already. Let's add a border to it so that we can see better. So border, 10 pixel solid, uh, white. There we go. Looks even better. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so also add a line height to make the um, font in the middle um, let's put 5 yeah it looks about ok also um, uh, text align center won't work in there because yeah it did work yay wonderful beauty beautiful 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 okay so there is our um, six sides 
3D cube in CSS3 in no time. Can you imagine? Only this code is required to make it happen. Guys, are you with me? Wow! And that's it. Yay! And this was my. I, I, I have never created a 3D box, 3D cubes in CSS. Okay? And this is the, my second time I'm creating. Alright. That's it. And you have this, man. This is so cool. I'm loving it. So there you go. So, so let's also rotate it, rotate them in a different direction so that we can have a nicer look. So, um, also in the inner class selector, we're gonna give it a rotate x axis 0 and in here in the animate also rotate x in minus 360 degree and that way we will be having this kind of orbiting rotation let's also change the color of the font in here and make it even gorgeous yay and that's it so once you understand the concept of 3d effects in css3 you'll be able to create almost anything you know and you can add so much beautiful user experience better user experiences in your web projects you know so basically the idea of creating this series of tutorials is to give you some ideas inspiration and technique and tips you know so that you can use it to create amazing user experiences okay in your own project so there you have it we only needed only this much code in the html and in the css less than 100 line of code and this is only the two classes container in our main thing and this keyframe is for animation right and for the cube we only record this can you imagine that come on how cool is this this is beautiful i'm loving it and i believe that you are also loving it and it's just about the easiness of it you understand what i'm saying how easy it is to create a css3 cube this is how it is easy it is to create a css cube in CSS3, I mean 3D cube in CSS3, right? So you get the point, yeah. So that's it. That's about it. So this was the, um, this was about the 3D in CSS3 project, and this was the uh, number five. I mean number four, yeah, four video, where we are, we mustered the technique of creating the cube. In CSS3 right so there you go if you like it if this video series comes in handy if you are benefited with this uh, video series or any of my videos please do share with others do share with your social network um, system please may you, you never know who will, you will inspire so yeah so there you go I'm gonna save this file as the 3d cube and I'm gonna change the title of the pages okay so yeah i'll catch you in my next video take care bye